Diamond Mills, uh, 30 boutique uh, hotel rooms. We seat, uh, um, is a building inspector in here? We seat 400 and uh, some <laughs> people in this room. And, uh, and we have, of course, the restaurant uh, tavern next door. So it, uh, this project is one that leaves me pretty proud. I'm proud to have the support of some excellent professionals, many of whom are here today. I'm not going to go through that list, but uh, many of the professionals that made this project possible are here. I'm proud to have the support of New York State uh, politicians and area politicians as well. Um, I'm proud to have the support of uh, a great staff that helped uh, see this uh, process through. And proud of the support of my family through the trials and tribulations that accompany this kind of a project. Um, I do believe it's fitting to talk about uh, my background in history here in Saugerties because this project says as much about me um, as it does about the community of Saugerties. So what uh, I and my, my team have been able to accomplish in my 13 years here in Saugerties uh, is proof of a few things. It's proof of uh, my dedication to this community, uh, my understanding and appreciation of the excellent workforce that's available to me in Ulster County, and my belief that New York State is a leader in progressive business development. So many may not be aware of what brought uh, uh, myself and, and my businesses to Ulster County. So uh, since I've got you all trapped here, you're going to hear that story. Um, so after moving my family here, um, I wanted to consider moving my businesses here as well. New York State has a program called the Empire Zone, which we were eligible for, and we took advantage of. The incentives from that program were the catalyst uh, for moving my horse show complex and company to Saugerties. That company, with the help of the Empire Zone, um, went from less than 10 employees to now over 75 full-time employees. We also purchased what was the post office in Saugerties, um, putting that back on the tax rolls. Um, we then purchased the town hall across the street, putting that back on the tax rolls. Um, we then uh, entered into a, a, uh, a few years later, again, still involved with the Empire Zone, entered into agreement with family of uh, Woodstock for a, a piece of property into a lease purchase agreement, um, and that complex not only saw that property go completely back in the tax rolls at over six figures a year, but uh, also produces an extraordinary economic impact for the entire county. The Saugerties Summer Shows has become known around the world, um, and it presently are the largest hunter-jumper shows held in the world in the summer. So I think that speaks volumes about uh, a program that sometimes is maligned, our, our Empire Zone program. Uh, it was truly the catalyst for my involvement in business initially here in Ulster County. So we've long since um, uh, moved past that Empire Zone program for HITS. Um, but, but we think that uh, those incentives and groups like the UCDC um, work when giving the opportunity. So I'm hoping that this project parallels the success that HITS has had in Ulster County. So here, working with the UCDC and the IDA, I've also been able to secure benefits. Without those benefits, this program would not have been built. One of the special incentives is a grant from the New York State, Restore New York grant. I've got to be very nice to him, I haven't gotten the check, so <laughs> particularly nice to him today. Um, that particular grant is for redevelopment of former industrial sites. This grant was truly, that money was the tipping point in, in going forward with this project. We are fortunate to have with us today Kenneth Adams from the Empire State Development Corp. Um, and I love New York, and he'll get a chance to speak uh, as soon as I'm there, right? He's we've got a few minutes to go here. I'm close, though. You're great. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I guess the point that I'm trying to, to make is this. I think you put together the following ingredients. We had a great construction team, a supportive community, state and local officials who see the benefit of working with entrepreneurs to build a better business and community. 
You mix in some old-fashioned hard work, which we know all about that, that's for sure. Never say die attitude of a developer like myself. All in the same pot and your recipe for success. So I'd imagine that uh, this is the opportunity to say that I'm ever so grateful and proud to show off uh, my latest successful recipe, the Diamond Mills Hotel and Tavern. Thank you all for coming here.